Today in Odoo, we are talking about multiple addresses, what they are, why you need them, and how to enable them in Odoo ERP. When you add a contact to your Odoo database, you will first define whether it is an individual or a company. Then you will complete the contact form, adding pertinent information including address, email, and phone. In addition, Odoo allows us to add contacts and related addresses. Today we're going to be adding an invoicing address, and while this could be the same address as the company's main address, for our purposes today it is a different location where our customer's accounting department is located. We are also going to add a separate delivery address. First, we're going to go to our sales module to take a look at how an address will be shown in a quote prior to enabling customer addresses. Here in this quote, you can see we have our customer added and the address from the contact form below. In order for us to add an invoice and delivery specific address, we need to enable customer addresses. We'll do this from our sales module by going to configuration, settings, and from here, we'll go down and tick the customer addresses box under the sales section. Now we'll save our changes. From the top menu now, we're going to go to orders and quotations. And let's open the same quote that we were just in. After enabling customer addresses, we now have two additional address lines here on our quote, invoice and delivery. Now let's go ahead and create a new customer with additional addresses. And then we'll create a quote to show how Odoo pulls this information directly into a quote. To get a new contact added, we're gonna to go to orders and select customers. This brings us to our customers um, that are invoiced and we're going to add a new contact. The first thing we're going to note is that this is going to be a company contact versus an individual. So we'll add um, our contact information, the general store, and we're going to go ahead and add the address here as well. And then just below that, we have a contacts and addresses tab. This is where we're going to add additional invoice and delivery addresses for today. So we'll go ahead and click on the add button and a new form will appear where we can choose which type of contact we're adding, whether it's a contact, a person, a company, um, an invoice address, a delivery address, other address, or a private address. And we're going to go ahead and start by adding the invoice address first. For this particular customer, we're sending it to their accounting department. So we're going to note that here in the contact name. We'll just update that with accounting department. And then we're going to just change the building because it is the same address, just a different building. And we can go ahead and save and close this, or we could save and add a new one. We'll save it those to show where it shows up. And now it's added below. We'll add another address. This time we're going to select our delivery address. Okay, and we're going to change this to reflect the building change um, to building C. And we'll add our department name. This is our warehouse department. Okay, looks good. We'll click save and close. Again, it's now been added to our contacts and addresses tab. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like in our contacts module now. Um, we're gonna go back out to our customers and we'll be viewing it in Kanban. We can see all of the customers are here and added and we've also can see that our new customer, the general store has been added along with the associated accounting department address as well as the warehouse department address. Now one of the things that we can do is we can view it differently. We could go to group by. If we wanted to group these by um, company we can do that here and at the top here I'll see the general store and then the related addresses below it. This can also be viewed in a list format again showing a hierarchical relationship here we can see that. Um, let's go ahead back out though um, and this time let's go ahead and filter it and just say we want to see the companies. Um, this is just going to pull up our main contact address for the general store here as well. 
Now let's see how Odoo pulls this data into a quote, allowing us to use multiple addresses. We'll go to Orders, Quotations, and now we're going to go ahead and create a new quote. Let's add our customer here, the general store, and you'll see it's pulled the address from our company contact form, noting Building A, and below we now have a different address selected for both invoice as well as delivery. And that's all for us today. You should now be able to identify the different types of contacts in Odoo and know how to add multiple addresses for a contact. We'll see you next time.